It's our June read on import prices. Expected up 1% is up 1.4%, and if we, that's month over month. Now, if you strip out petroleum, it's up three-tenths of 1%, uh, which versus expectations is a couple of tenths better than expected. Now, if we look at year-over-year -year import prices, we expect it down 3.7. Give the economists a tip of the hat. Very accurate. It's down 3.8%. Now let's switch lanes to the export side of the equation. Month over month export prices up 1.4. Year over year down 4.4. You know, this reminds me a lot of the uh, CPI and PPI data. When you start taking that year over year perspective, there's much more of a deflationary uh, whiff to what's going on. Near term, not as much. And really, it's a comp story as much as anything else. And Empire for the month of July up 17.2, up 17.2. We're expecting up 10. That is really a good number. Uh, that's the best number going all the way back to, and boy, we have to go back a ways. November, November of 2018. Remember, two months ago, we were at minus 78.2, the worst number going back to July of 2001 when they started creating Empire. And Joe and the gang, I, I just want to draw your attention to a chart. This is the euro versus dollar going back to early 2017. We're not quite there yet, but the euro is surging. And if it takes out that little nub in March, it is going to be at the best levels in virtually three years. And, of course, the dollar index will represent the mere image of that.